Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on a really cute train panel. It's the Smoky Ridge Railway, Smoky Ridge, uh, number 25 engine and uh, it's a gorgeous little panel. It is Autumn Steam by Michael W. Shelton of threewishesfabrics.com. So if you're interested in it, there you go. Uh, no other number on it, okay? But it's Autumn Steam. So obviously it's steam engine. I love trains. So what I've done here is I've, you'll see my little tail threads, but I'm gonna thread those through. Um, I've highlighted some of the foliage, some of the tree branches up here. And then of course I've had to turn it so we can focus a bit on the train. I will come back and do some of the foliage, but right now I just kind of want to focus getting an outline of the train going on right here, right now. And then uh, let's see how far I can come down with the belt because I don't want to go Okay, so we'll just come down to the front of the engine, uh, maybe make our way around. So then, of course, you can highlight some of the windows. You can highlight the engine and the pipes for the steam to go through. When you get down there, you can highlight the wheels. Um, around the Smoky Ridge, you can make that stand out. You can even uh, detail quilts in this gray part here if you wanted to, and that would really make the Smoky Ridge Railway stand out the cars, the cars windows, the doors, anything along there. There's of course there's a uh, track down here. You could definitely like highlight the lines of coming back and forth, just going, you know, up and down, up and down, like little sticks, little match sticks to uh, follow that. So, and of course there's some of the foliage here. I'll be just doing the lighter part on the outside and leaving this back uh, part there because this will get stitched. So um, I believe this is going to be a wall hanging. There's a couple of Canadian gooseys up there too. Uh, I haven't quite decided how I wanted to go around them. So we've got it off the belts. It is 12 stitches per inch and we're using a very light green thread. Okay. Start right here in the black. Lock our stitches in. And then of course I have my little uh, plexi piece that Pop made me. It's very custom. Uh, I love it. You can, that can help push it along with you if you feel you uh, need a little assistance or you could just, you know, eyeball it and trace around. It's completely up to you. I think I'll give myself a little push. So, and you just want to slow it down. Be careful where you're going. But you may find it easier just to move that off to the side, have control over both hands on the long arm, and then just move slowly along the line where you think it should go. Okay, we gotta come out like this for the top. And then we got the little chimney stack there, we gotta go around. Okay. This takes deep, deep, deep concentration. Okay. Don't forget to breathe and move. You can come back this way and then just backtrack. Okay, and that'll save you from breaking threads. Okay, let's follow it around. And get around all the little mechanisms that create the steam engine. Okay. 
stop that there for a second so I can reposition. <clears throat> Make sure I'm not dragging anything with me. Okay. And then we stop the needle down. I'm going to try and come up and around here. Okay. And of course, sometimes it's hard to see because you got the foot in your way. Uh oh, did we run out of bobbin? Oh, good golly molly. Ran out of bobbin. Where's the other one? Uh oh. Uh, what will? Sorry, I meant to check that beforehand. Alright, so we're going to have to go over some of those stitches. You can see how those like are a little tight. See, you can see those ones there and these ones here are a little tight. So we can pull those out. The bobbin was coming to an end. Okay. Now we make sure we get the bobbin thread up too. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we'll redo so we don't lose those stitches. Okay. Beautiful American flag there. I'll just go around. Just take a moment, breathe in. Okay, we can't go all the way down, but we can highlight this pipe here. And this connector. There. And up. Be a good spot to end that one right there is right in there in that corner. A couple locking stitches. <clears throat> and then once you get your basic oh, my magnet stuck in there. Um, your basic stitches are kind of around what you want to do. It's easier to kind of go back and focus in on all the th stuff you want to highlight, like the windows and around the top here and everything else like that. So let's uh, let's start off here. Threads up and out of the way. Pull this board up. Obviously, it's the wood to help contain to make the steam engine go. Right over here. Maybe it was a handrail, it's not a pipe. I don't know. It's gonna hurt. Too tall. 
I can pack up this way. Here. Okay, hold on. There we go. Stop that there. Okay, so as you can see, uh, with just the mat, you can do this definitely on your home uh, domestic machine. You could uh, control it with your free motion foot, um, even uh, even with a, a walking foot or something like that. Just making sure you're stopping and pivoting and lifting your foot with your needle down and doing any of your shifting like that. So what a very beautiful, beautiful panel. Again, it's Autumn Steam by Michael W. Shelton for threewishesfabric.com. Very, very nice, especially if you have one of those uh, train enthusiasts in your family. This would be lovely as a nice little lap quilt or something to hang on a wall or in the office or something like that or a lounge. So thank you everybody, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching, liking and subscribing. We couldn't do it without you. So big hugs and we'll see you soon. All right, take care everybody, enjoy the day.